Today, you should be watching a vlog from Brantwell Town's away day at AFC Totten. But unfortunately, the pitch that Totten deemed playable earlier in the week, the game was called off about an hour or so to spare. Luckily for me, I was only around the corner from the Snow Stadium when the game got called off. But luckily for me, Gemma was in the passenger seat and she told me. So here is the pitch that was deemed playable that very morning. Yeah, shocking. So instead, I've decided to go over the content. I've been meaning to do this for quite some time. I'm going to go through the non-league pyramid, look at some of the leagues, see what teams are doing well and see what teams are not doing so well. And I might even give you a few predictions for who would go up and who would go down in those divisions. So in this video, I'll go over the National League, the National League South, the Southern League Premier South, the Ishmian Premier, the Ishmian South Central, the Southern League Division 1 South, and the Combined Counties Premier Division South. Obviously, I don't know enough about the other leagues, so I'm not going to go over those. So we're going to kick things off with the National League. So looking at National League, Chesterfield on top with 82 points, 20 points clear of second place, Barnet. Safe to say them guys are going to be league champions and make their way back to the EFL. In the playoffs, you've got Barnet, Bromley, Solihull Moors, Gateshead, Aldershot and Oldham. Oldham are a club I'd love to see back in the EFL. They deserve to be up there. And who knows, they could have a, a shot at it. They got At the moment, they're in a the playoff quarter final position. So anything is possible. But I'd, wish, I'd like to wish them the best of luck in getting back to the EFL. Um, but if I was to take a stab at the dark and have a look at who... I think we've got other playoffs. I'm going to say it's either Barnet or Bromley. I'd like to see Bromley, somebody different, make the EFL for a change. Obviously, Barnet have been there before. FC Halifax and Altrincham could also make the playoffs. Looking at the relegation zone, we've got Oxford City, Woking, Kidderminster, Harris and Dorking Wanderers. I'm going to say dead certainty. I reckon Oxford City are going down and I think Woking will be the other team as well. Um, the other two in 22nd and 21st, um, to go down is open to whatever you think. I certainly hope it's not Dorking Wonder as one of them, but I don't think it will be. I think I reckon Mark White will sort our team out and get themselves to safety at some point. They lost 4 1 at home yesterday to Ebbsfleet. It was a six point in that game, and Ebbsfleet now moved up to 17th position. Kidderminster could well be the other team to go down, couldn't they? Who are currently 22nd. York, AFC Fylde, Wildstone, Ebbsfleet, Southend, even Dagenham, Maidenhead, Rochdale were all down for the drop up to 13th position. So anything could happen in that bottom half of the table come the end of the season. National League South now, and it's no surprise that Yeovil Town, the top of the table on 75 points, 12 points clear of second place, Chelmsford, who are having a very good season by the looks of it. But Yeovil, what a last decade they've had just 10 years ago. Gary Johnson was their manager and they was playing championship football. But now they're in the National League South, but they could be going back to National League and I'm sure they will do. In the playoffs, we have Chelmsford, Worthing, Bath City, Braintree, St. Albans and Hampton, Richmond. Maidstone, Slough, Avely have all got a chance at the playoffs. If I had to pick a team to get promoted via the playoffs, I think it's going to be Worthing or Chelmsford. I'd like to personally see Worthing make the National League. They are a growing club. There was only in the Isthmian Premier, I think, a couple of years ago, doing very well on the up as a club. Um, massive shout out though to Slough Town. I put on my Twitter recently, I had them down for relegation. They started off very poorly this season, but they're climbing up that table and dare I say they could make the playoffs. They could do it. A good 2-1 last minute win at Tombridge Angels yesterday. Avery as well in 10th up for a playoff position. They've done very well. Just a few years ago, they were playing step four football and now they're looking at possibly step one. Absolutely incredible there. Torquay United in 11th. I believe their 10-point deduction hasn't registered yet, despite entering administration. I would like to wish Torquay United fans all the very best. They're a great club. Just a week or so ago, they were hoping for you know making the playoffs and getting back to the National League. But at the moment, they could get relegated to the Southern League Premier South, or worse, could fold and end up starting a Phoenix club and playing at step four or five or whatever level they got, they'd have to restart at. So sad times for that club, but I'd like to wish that fan base the very best and the club in general. I don't want to ever see the club fail and certainly not talk United, a club of their size. In the relegation zone, you have Dover Athletic, Haven and Mortlouville, Eastbourne Borough and Welling United. Dover and Haven, I believe, are certainly going to go down. Dover obviously have struggled in recent years financially, I believe. And having the Waterlooville National League just a few years ago, they're looking like they could go back down to step three. Um, the other two relegation places I think will be, I reckon it could be Eastbourne and Taunton would be my guess. Wedding United could just stay up and they've got a new stadium or redevelopment on their grounds being planned. So, But I reckon they'll stay up. I reckon Welling will be safe. Um, Tro City... They've got so many games to play. They're now playing at Taunton's ground. They've got a lot of work to do, haven't they, to finish their season. But overall, yeah, it's going to be a tight one down at the bottom. 
Um, like I said, you've got Taunton, Truro, Dartford, and possibly Weymouth still down for the drop. But Weymouth, I believe, will be safe for another season. The league that I know all too well is the Southern League Premier Division South. At top is Cheshire United on 73 points, 11 points ahead of Salisbury now, and they've got a game in hand. I think Cheshire United will go up as league champions. I have no doubt about it. I certainly think Salisbury and Gosport will get a playoff place each, and I reckon it will be Gosport or Salisbury to win the playoffs, personally. Murphy and Totten slowing down a little bit in that chase. Wharton, Hersham, Hungerford, maybe even Brattle Town could, could sneak in for a last playoff play position. Murphy, though, really struggling in fourth now. Lost to us a few weeks ago, and they're just struggling. I think they could, if they're not careful, uh, fall out of those playoff places. Rock Bottom have Didcot, Harrow, Tiverton and Plymouth Parkway. Didcot and Harrow, I'm putting them to get relegated. They've had awful seasons. But Didcot, if they could pull off a great escape, that would be fantastic. But the other two, again, I don't think it will be Plymouth Parkway because look at the games in hand they've got. They've got at least six to eight games in hand. So I think they'll be as high as mid-table. So the other two teams to go down, I think, is between Tiverton, Swindon, Dorchester and Hanwell. I reckon it'll be Tiverton and Hanwell. Dorchester Town, they're finding some form now and I reckon they will stay up and swing the Supermarine. They started off ever so poorly. They were almost guaranteed for relegation, but they've turned things around. And I certainly hope Swindon stay up. They're a great little club, friendly club there. Um, so I'd like to see them guys stay up. But I think Tiverton and Hammer will go down. Personally, don't hate me for saying that. That's just my, that's just my personal opinion. Bays and Stoke have turned bad form into decent form. They beat... Plymouth Parkway 1-0 yesterday and are now up to 10th position. Hendon were chasing the playoffs, but they're now down to 11th. One more shout out to Winchester City up to 9th. They're punching above their weight massively under Craig Davis. They're doing very, very well. And we're now going to move on to the Ishmael Premier, the, one of the leagues that I don't know much about, but I do like to look at every now and again. Hornchurch are at top on first in first position. Growing club Chatham Town in second. They are going to probably win the playoffs, I reckon. Billericay, Wingate and Finchley and Enfield Town complete the playoff places. But Horsham, Hastings, Dunwich Hamlet, Bogner, Lewis and possibly Carl Shelton all in with a shout for the playoffs. Horsham, great club this year. Obviously beat Bracknell in the FA Trophy and had a great FA Cup run. Be great to see them at step two next season. Dutch Hamlet with over 2,000 fans on average at their home games. It'd be great to see them make an instant return back to step two. I'd like to see Enfield go to step two, actually. Enfield went to that club pre-season. Great friendly club. Great ground, even though it's got a running track around it. It's quite a nice ground. Decent chips there as well, my lad. But yeah, um, plenty of options there, I think, to go up and some good options as well. Hashtag United, the team that I like to watch on YouTube. Mid-table, 12th. I think they'll take that at their first opportunity at step three. In the relegation zone, you have Kingstonian, Harringay Borough, Concord Rangers and Chessant. I had Concord Rangers to certainly go down just a few weeks ago, but it looks like they've turned the tide a little bit. They're now up to 20th position and they've got at least five games in hand of those other teams, so so they could well pull it off. Who knows? Kingstonian, I think, will go down. They're struggling. It'd be sad to see those guys down at step four next season. Ishman South Central, Chertsey Town, despite being docked to one point, not sure that's four, if I'm honest, but they are top of the table on 73 points. I think they're going to win the league title and it'd be great to see a club like them make step three because they've got a big noisy fan base for that level of football and I do like their ground as well so I'd like to see them do well in the playoffs you've got Marlow, Southall, Leverhead and Rays Park Vale I'm not going to make an exact prediction who will get promoted by the playoffs in that league but I don't think it'll be Rains Park Vale I think it's between Leverhead, Southall and Marlow both all three of those teams having a very good season Westfield though are probably the only other team in that league who can make the playoff places if they can overtake Rains Park Vale the rest it's a bit bit too much of a hard task I think Hartley Whitney will stay at this division I think for one more season at least in the relegation zone we have Binfield and Corinthian casuals Binfield could they pull off the greatest escape ever in non-league football it is on because they were losing every single game they were losing six seven eight nil at one point earlier in the season but they changed their management they've changed their at least half of their team half their squad and they're beginning to pick up points now, whether it's a, w a few wins, um, a few draws, or even just losing by the, the narrow goal. It's unfortunate. It's a game of fine margins. That's how it goes in football. And they could well do it. They are on equal points with Corinthian casuals. Chipstead in 19th with 22 points. It is doable with just a couple of months left until the end of the season. Guernsey struggling this season once again. So are Ashford. Northwood having a poor season down in 16th. Met Police, who voluntarily got relegated. They are down to 15th. Ascot not having a bad season down in 13th. And yeah, um, 
Hammer Filler, who made the playoff final last season, down in 11th. They're not going to make the playoff final this year, are they? Now we're going to look at the Southern League Division 1 South. Frome Town, the Robins at number one. Very similar logo to Bracknell, and they are called the Robins. They are looking like they could win the title, but it could be Wimborne. It could be Cribs for first as well. Cribs doing very well, so Wimborne. Bristol Manor Farm and Yates Town complete the playoff places. Evesham, Biddeford, Bem- Bemerton, Heath, Harlequins and Mousel looking like they can make the playoffs as well. But Mousel, what an away trip that would be for a lot of teams if they got promoted to step three next season. That would be at least a three to four hour trip each way by car for a lot of those teams in the Southern League Premier South. So I'd love to see Mousel get promoted, but a bit of a big ask, I think. But it could happen, who knows? Yate Town looking to bounce straight back up to step three. Bristol Manor Farm had a poor season last year. They're in the playoff chase. They were in the... Playoff final against Winchester City just, just two years ago. Lost 4-1. So could they do it this year? Remains to be seen. In the relegation zone, you have... Well, Hamworth United have been relegated. But that's because they, unfortunately, have um, resigned from the league. I believe they're looking to re-enter the non-league pyramid at the, in the, within the Dorset Premier League. Don't take my word for it, but that's from what I remember seeing anyway. Exmouth Town in 19th looked like the other teams go down at the moment. But it could be Porton Rovers... And apart from that, I'm not too sure what else to say, but interestingly, that one. And lastly, we've got the Combined Counties Premier Division South. And surprise, surprise, Farnham Town, 23 wins out of 23. They are on 69 points, undefeated, best team in Europe at the moment, yet to lose, yet to drop a single point. And we have a tough game against Jersey Bulls coming up this Tuesday. Could they hold on? Who knows? But I think they're going to win the league title, obviously, by a country mile. Whether it's about the money or not, whether you agree with it or not, I think the club's doing well. They are promoting non-league very, very well through their social media channels and their YouTube non-league diary series. In the playoffs, you've got Nap Hill, Jersey Bulls, Alton Town and Red Hill. But you've got Abbey Rangers, AFC Croydon, Ballum, Tadley and Tooting in with a shout over the playoffs. Tadley Cleaver have got at least three or four games in hand. If they win all their games in hand, they, will, they could well be up to as high as fifth position in the playoff position. But next season, I think the title will be between... Jersey Bulls and AFC Croydon. AFC Croydon have a lot of investment, obviously, through Wilfred Zaha and Stormzy, who are their co-owners now. And Jersey Bulls are an island club on the up. I think they're doing very well for themselves, and I'd like to see them at step four very soon. Abbey Rangers have improved massively in their season. They started off near the bottom. They're now hoping to make the playoffs, so fair play to them. Alton as well, doing very well in fourth position. In the relegation zone, you've got Collier's Wood United, I reckon it's between them, Shearwater, or Epsom and Yule. But Sanders Town, at the first time of asking at step five, are doing, very, are doing very, very well in 12th position. The team that plays are mostly youngsters. Incredible achievement by them, doing very, very well. And yeah, I think this league will be very interesting come next season. So that's how some of the leagues look in the non-league pyramid. Obviously very specific. If I don't know much about certain leagues, I will not cover those leagues. But hopefully you've enjoyed some content over this weekend. We're very nearly at 1,000 subscribers. It's my birthday tomorrow, so if we could hit 1,000 subs for my birthday, that would be absolutely amazing. But thank you guys, as always, for watching, and I will catch you guys very, very soon. (laughs) 